In December last year, information made it to the media alleging that Uganda Revenue Authority URA had plans to tax the 1.5 billion Ugandan shillings in donations, commonly known as Oluwalo, received by the kingdom during their fundraiser. Today at the Uganda Kingdom headquarters in Mengo, results from an approximately two hours closed door discussion between URA officials and the Katikiro of Buganda, Charles Peter Maiga, revealed that the tax collection agency does not intend to tax the money received by the kingdom. Uganda Revenue Authority taxes only income, and income can be either employment income for those of you who pay, pay as you earn. Or it can be business income, you must be having a business that generates the income which we tax. Or it must be property income, you must be having a property that generates income which we tax. Anything outside those three is not taxable income. Therefore, a gift to the kingdom of Buganda or any other kingdom for that matter is not subject to taxation. So Oruwalo is not taxable. In the letter of the public's complaint regarding e-receipts, Musinguzi acknowledges that these concerns arise from a lack of understanding about the technology. He further encourages individuals to embrace the technology offered by agents. The beauty with IFRIS, it will remove the need for you even to file or for us to assume. It will give us a clear record. So let's embrace technologies like IFRIS because they are the smarter way of doing things. And in that one, by adapting that technology, then there will be no contention and fighting of whether your sales have been 100 million or 500, because record will be kept accurately through that new technology. Musingus noted that the country's tax to gross domestic product GDP ratio stands at 14%, still lower than the 16% average of the sub-Saharan Africa because of the low tax compliance rate by the taxpayers. He said they intend to engage the leaders to achieve the goal. We have discovered that for us to be able to raise the tax to GDP of our country and collect enough revenue for our national development, we need to deliberately engage with leaders, with institutions, with opinion leaders. The Katikiro of Uganda, Charles Peter Maega, also added his voice in a bid to call for tax compliance, saying that citizens only have the right to ask for their accountability after paying the taxes. Payment of taxes is a duty by all citizens. You can demand how the taxes are used, but have you paid the taxes? The taxpayers have reasons for resisting the pay tax. So we want to work with the URA to see to it that the citizens of the country realize the need to pay taxes. He additionally recommended that individuals register their businesses, highlighting the importance of maintaining proper books of accounts to prevent unforeseen situations. For starters, have your business registered? With the government agencies, URBS, then register for with the URA, then repair the books of accounts, then file the returns, then what you pay will not cripple your business. To demonstrate support and dispel any lingering rumors, the URA commissioner presented a generous contribution of 5 million Ugandan shillings from the agent to the kingdom. We pay this just as a sign that we submit and we respect this institution and want to contribute to its development. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you.